wife's secretive behavior with receiving food from strangers leads to a shocking revelation about her multiple affairs throughout our marriage. This is a first, since in 10 years together there hasn't been a single jealously induced fight since neither of us are of the jealous type. I was cheated pretty bad by another person, she knows this and knows I'm insecure about it, so we both are pretty open about our friends and families to avoid misunderstandings between us, till she started to get all secretive with this specific matter. She stopped eating the food I cook for her because someone pays for her food now. The catch? There aren't any co-workers in her office. She does consultation at her own little one-person place and everything else is managed off-site by the company she's working for. Now, why I'm making a big deal out of it? It was not a big deal till it was, I was super happy for her because maybe some client were so satisfied with the service that they sent her food and gratitude. It was a bi-monthly occurrence at best and she used to tell me for example hey. This client sent me some Starbucks. Nice. Or wow other client's mother made me a sandwich and some jello, but then it became bi-weekly and then she stopped knowing who sent her the now expensive food, and nowadays it's daily. She always returns my food to me when she gets home, gone all bad because she didn't eat any. I don't make a big deal but I stopped making jokes about it like hey tell them to send some for me too. Or things like that because it started to annoy me that she doesn't eat my food and let it go bad, I'm a pretty good cook and I hate wasting food, and it got weird when she started to show off that the food someone sent to her is better costly and restaurant made, it started as an annoyance about wasting food, but what triggered my insecurity about this is that one day, after she sent me the US jewel picture I told to her surprise. I got ahead and sent you that from Y place, and she replied, all annoyed ha ha, funny. I know it wasn't you, told her who is it then? Her answer? Um I don't know. So she doesn't believe it was me, but doesn't know who it was. The second catch? They always send her things pretty specific to her likings. I may be paranoid, but most items she gets are things that she has to tell someone she likes, since it is not generic expensive food, but menu items catered to her palate or drinks prepared exactly how she likes them. She could be ordering herself, but she denies it like it would kill her to tell me. She knows I don't mind, I just don't want wasting food. If she's ordering food for herself, why doesn't she tell me? I told her it wouldn't be a problem since that way I can save food at home and won't wake up as early, but she still denies and still doesn't know who it is. It's the first time I get this type of treatment from her. Why be so secretive about some food? She knows it gets worse if you hide this type of deals instead of being just open about it like it's some weird client obsessed with sending me food or it's my mom slash brother slash friend slash the company like, she could have lied like that and it would be enough to stop me from asking her every time nice, but who is sending you this? And instead decided being all mysterious and mischievous about it. Edit. Some words. English is not my first language or update posts allowed here, right? As per rule 5 if I understand correctly. She's about to come home in an hour or so, so I'll try to talk to her seriously one last time before getting matters on my own hands. I don't like snooping but most of you recommend I will have to if I want some real answers, even if it means hiring a pie or following people around. I'll update whenever I can after the allowed time, rule 5 says 48 hours after first post. I hope the possible update is uninteresting, also it's probable I'll update with another throwaway account because I just made this one on impulse, and the password is pure bullshit I can't remember. So uh this isn't worth its own post. It went begrudgingly? Faster than I anticipated. I'm with a friend right now, asked him for some space so I could write a little, or a ton, and tomorrow I'll be at my parents. Believe it or not, I'm not angry or destroyed or all that shiz. I'm just sad and tired and wanna puke, and wanna write something to vent. Excuse my spelling errors you're also not gonna believe this. To the person who told me this is almost like a sitcom. What the fuck this is a fucking sitcom you were right. You'll see why soon I told and asked her some of the things some of you told me I could say to her before starting my own investigation. I'm a calm person so usually, doesn't matter the topic I talk about it never comes as rude. This is important because I don't want you to think that I screamed at her or something like that. I don't want you to picture me as a saint, but I'm as non-violent as a person can be. Her reaction was as bizarre as this whole shit. Long story short, or short story long, I asked her with why is she accepting food from strangers and she started verbally abusing, and don't worry if you don't believe me, it started out of nowhere. It's Leok she exploded out of fucking nowhere. As I wrote in another comment, yeah we fight like any couple, but she never abused me or insulted me or my family. Again, this was a first. I guess I was not pressing enough or making the correct questions, because I never got this reaction from her before. One of the things she screamed at me was something like why the fuck are you pestering me? I bet you never knew a fucking surprise in your whole childhood. No. Scratch that, I know you never had a fucking surprise in your whole childhood, so now whenever I get a gift you get all jealous. Is that it, right? Then she started a tirade on how my parents were shit at rising me and everything. I told her that was unprovoked, and that I just wanted, her to be careful when eating outside, even more so if she didn't know where Tay food comes from. I'll repeat myself as many times as necessary, we never fought like this, in 10 years she never screamed at me or insulted me like this. I told her to please not insult me or my parents because I'm just trying to talk. She screamed then what the hell do you want from me and, guys, I told her the stupidest thing ever. To please eat my food. Or tell me whenever you are gonna eat outside so I won't cook. Her answer? 
then don't fucking cook for fuck's sake I asked her to please stop screaming at me, and told her that it wasn't like that. I was concerned that she was receiving food without knowing the source and I didn't like wasting food, at this point I was still acting as if everything was about she not eating my food. That whole interchange lasted less than 15 minutes, but it was enough to trigger her like I've never seen before in 10 years. I'll omit like 2 hours and a half of details because I don't want to write a fucking bible. I'll just go for the most important bits for me. She was seeing an ex from a bunch of friggin years ago. This chick started to send her not only food, but gifts because suddenly she wanted to reignite shit or whatever. But no, it wasn't sudden at all. They started just talking like 8 years ago, and the gifts started a couple years ago too. Wife got by curious because she, and I quote wanted to taste the touch of a woman again, so they slept together multiple times since years ago. Please 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 I beg you don't misunderstand me, this isn't a post about that, I'm not hating anyone for their preferences. But you don't do that when you are married. Or better yet. You talk to your partner like hey I'm curious about this or that, can we do anything about it if it's good with you? Something like that. Communication. Told her so. But 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 I pressed for her to come full clean, remember this is after 2 plus hours discussing this issues, and you are also not going to believe this. After some more talking she told me you want clean? I'll give you clean. Sleeping with her ex triggered a craving for different people, she slept with a, male, co-worker of hers in a past job like 5 years ago. Slept with another, male, ex of hers. Slept with a chick from a club, slept with a chick from that same job, and sleep with her latest ex, all while we were already married. I asked why? Her answer? She wanted to feel wanted by everyone. Was I not enough? Hard no. Maybe if I could change the shape of my penis on command, but that wouldn't even be enough because she wanted to try different bodies and shit like that. Why marry me? I'm a good person and she wanted someone as stable as me. Why do that to a good person then? It's only sex. But it's important for me. Grow up. I have needs. I know it's a big deal for you that's why I never tell you tell me. As in present time. Yes, she was still in contact with most of her fuck buddies, but more so her exes. Why not try everything she wanted, then date me then marry me. She told me the stupidest thing, she was calling dibs on me. Guys, I didn't have any other lovers or so. She was competing for me versus no one. I could have waited for her 1, 5 or 10 years. Told her I'm gone then. Her answer? Have fun what did I do to you to be treated like this? Nothing, but I'm seriously tired of pretending, having to hide, lie. And you pestering me about this shit was the last straw she told me that if I never started to get weird about food, I would never know and we could still be happy. Told her it isn't my fault. She responded I know, but you ruined your status quo, as in I'm happy like this, you ruined it for you by pestering me, last question. Then why act all mysterious with the food? If she had just told me oh it's from the company, or a friend everything would have stayed the same. Answer, fucking grow up. Please. What the few you uuck happened to my wife? I was never treated like this. I now know that my trust for her was so big I was blind to a bunch of signs. What signs? I still don't fucking know but she said all that as if it was all under my nose. Why she exploded after 10 years? And why just after I started bettering myself for her? Why not before, or later for that matter? I will not post again nor answer anything. But, thank you for your concern and support. I remember the password of this ex so if I see this crap on TikTok I'm deleting the post. Have a great night everyone. Don't insult anyone please. Edited to add this, also don't hate anyone.